Hello, thank you for watching. This will be a short video because I want to keep record of something that happened to uh, the power supply of my Collins KWM2A transceiver. Uh, it's an old Collins which uh, works uh, really well, but the power supply, the 516 uh, power supply failed just suddenly. It was uh, working perfectly. It was uh, in re the transceiver was in receive mode and I was just in front of the transceiver and suddenly uh, it turned off. No smoke, no flames, no anything. It just turned off. I thought it was something on the electrical outlet. Well, finally I found out that it was uh, blowing the fuses here and well after some investigation I found that the primary of the main transformer uh, uh, was shorted. So that was so that's, uh, not a very nice um, not a very nice uh, news and uh, the, the, then I when I dis tried to see inside the transformer I saw that the all the emanel of the of the wire was uh, like peeling off, so that's why uh, it suddenly uh, uh, shorted. So what I did is uh, I found someone here. I know someone here that uh, has a small business in in uh, making and re rewinding transformers. So he made the nice job here. I haven't tested it yet, but I know this uh, will will work fine. Also, the the power supply was a 110 volt factory, and the transformer was only 110 volt uh, primary. And here in Uruguay, we have to 220, 230. So what I did, I asked the this person to to make a primary on 220 volts, and in fact, I made some some uh, taps here like uh, 210, 220, and 230 volts, so I can with a primary make some uh, uh, be able to to fine tune the output voltages if i need to maybe if the if the filament voltage is too high or too low i can move the tabs a little bit so to have a, a little uh, uh, their uh, possibilities and also i'm now happy because i don't need to use the external uh, step down transformer that I had to use. So you can see the power supply with no uh, with no uh, um, chokes here because also the there was a problem. Sorry for for the noise of the chair. There has the, this little cage with the uh, power resistors here that, as you can see, they they've been overheating. If we look here, maybe we can see this. This wire is absolutely the the soldering is all melted, and this resistor, is, it's a 25k resistor, is uh, it's open. Maybe eight years ago, ten years ago, maybe I rebuilt all the. Oops, here, uh, I uh, changed all the capacitors. And, and verify that all the resistors, uh, this worked really well, this was working really well and the power supply was uh, um, restored perfectly so the, all this is working perfect. I will recheck everything before assembling, before final test, but this was working perfectly. But what I found is a capacitor that goes here, it's a 0.01 capacitor which is a uh, if a really nice capacitor, it's a thousand volt capacitor that uh, goes in parallel with one of the chokes, was shorted, absolutely shorted. You look at the capacitor and you look at it and you say, ah, oh, this really high capacity, high quality capacitor, and you say this will never fail. Well, it was shorted, so so that was probably the cause of the uh, high. A power resistor on the other side uh, going bad and also one of the chokes which is in series with that one 
also was overheated and had uh, some windings were shorted and it didn't have the correct uh, value. So I also what I did was to uh, ask this person to uh, rewind the three uh, chokes. So I now have all the transformer and the three chokes are uh, newly rewinded and uh, I will rebuild the power supply and I hope it will work <laughs> for a long time because uh, this uh, it wasn't uh, really it wasn't a, a cheap uh, thing to uh, this was job was uh, quite expensive so I hope the power supply works uh, for a long time now I will come back to finish the video when the when I have everything assembled okay apparently I have finished repairing the power supply it was a long uh, repair and uh, mostly everything in the power supply had failed in some way or another. Maybe some parts uh, failed some time ago and were the cause of failure of uh, other components that, for example, like the transformer uh, the the guy that the person that that uh, did the rewiring the rewinding of the transformer he he told me that he, the heating inside had been uh, it was not like a short circuit that that damaged one of the windings but it was all heated inside so like like the transformer had been suffering from heat for a long time one of the chokes also was overheated the other one was okay but I, I, I he rewinded it also this little one was so from the three chokes two were okay and one was uh, damaged but they are all the three chokes are re redone as as well as the transformer here are the the um, the power resistors that are the the um, drain resistors and they are also to I believe they are to keep the, the, the voltage within a certain limit there are these resistors here which are uh, big power resistors and this one here these three resistors are in this cage they are over there I don't, I don't see three power resistors and they generate heat so so dissipate heat sorry so they are in this uh, little cage and also I have for the low voltage low the lower voltage section here I use the rectifier for the 275 volt output uh, yes 275 volt output I use the rectifier too because I, I in the experience uh, the voltage output is better than using a solid state uh, uh, equivalent or, or replacement here I have a this was I think the the cause of the the failure at the end but from these resistors what, uh, two of them were in bad condition I had to replace them so there was in this uh, high voltage sorry one of them in this high voltage section one of them was open so also what I believe that happened is that this voltage increased a lot over some time and I had this capacitor was shorted so what may have happened is that this voltage, this resistor opened, this voltage went up and this capacitor was shorted and if you look at the capacitor, I have it here, it looks really really high quality uh, but it failed and it failed shorted this is shorted like a wire also I had a problem with the with the rectifier here high voltage rectifier the replacement it used to have and this worked very well for a long time it, it used to have a 
some diodes in series, high voltage diodes, and uh, one like this for one section, and, and a and similar one to the other section. And one of the sections was uh, also shorted. So m maybe that was the the final drop that that um, uh, uh, that topped the glass. You know, it's like it's like I what I believe happened is that one of these um, rectifiers was shorted, and finally when the other one shorted, the the secondary of the transformer shorted to ground and the transformer fin finally uh, failed something like that because it's a uh, it's a uh, every everything had a failure in in some in some point the the resistor high power resistor was open the rectifier was was shorted the transformer was uh, had an op uh, the, the primary op primary uh, was shorted one of the inductors was was overheated and in bad condition so uh, like everything had to be rebuilt so I will uh, show it on the other side and uh, we'll see uh, how how I'll rebuild in rebuild it in the other side to have a look okay this is the underside of the power supply. As you can see, I've measured every one of the capacitors that these were replaced uh, some years ago in this power supply. I've replaced them uh, some years ago, but they're measured really good, both in capacitance and in uh, ESR, all of these. But then I, I rewired everything. Uh, I replaced the, this. This is where this capacitor was located here. I, I put another. Also, I, te I tested it for leakage. This is a brand new one. And also, as you can see, I changed the way, not not the wiring, but how the wires used to go. Th this was a bit convoluted because there was uh, this uh, tie strip here. These uh, inductors these chokes were wired to that point and then there were some wires that went all this way to a, another tie strip over, over here and then there was some, so so what I did was as I re redid all the wiring I think I did in a simpler and more direct way so also this is for the bias circuit is also all new capacitors new resistor the diode uh, I think the diode I measured the diode. This is the one that used to be here, which is not the original. This Collins uh, power supply has a uh, originally has a like, it's like a little cube, which is the rectifier, but it was already have been replaced a long time ago. So I think when I replace the capacitors, I replace the diode. So I replace all resistors, everything, and I I also make made all the uh, simplified the grounding points because it used to have some grind grounds here some grounds there some grounding over there i think and i have like only two or three ground points here in the chassis and so i think um, everything is finally working ah what i did with the high voltage uh, rectifier is because I didn't have the proper diodes, so I had two old uh, um, diodes from uh, from uh, 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 discarded microwave ovens. So these are 10,000 volts, uh, 10,000 volts rectifiers. They are probably low current. They, they are just r the right current, the enough current. To, for me to test it. I know that this won't uh, fail due to high voltage because they are 10,000 volt rated but I will have to replace this in the near future uh, for this to operate uh, uh, reliable, reliably in the future. So so this I've, I've assembled this for, for testing now. 
So finally I can turn it on and uh, the fuse doesn't blow because I've been trying to turn on this power supply for days now and each time I'm trying to turn it on something else failed and the, blue, the fuse blew and it was like uh, you know a pain so finally uh, when I turn it on it works and uh, the fuse is a bit underrated it says 4 amps and I have a 3.5 amp fuse in each which is what is <laughs> I, I don't have any 4, four uh, amp fuse left because they are all gone but that's it so um, I think the power supply is working and let's hope uh, the the uh, I can make some some QSOs with my nice uh, uh, Collins KWM transceiver so hope this uh, fixes this issue with the power supply also, please consider the little uh, electrocuted guy. There are really high voltages here, like 8,000 volts and sometimes higher. So I cannot emphasize it. You have to be careful with high voltage. I, I, of course, I'm not responsible if you have any problem with high voltage. This is uh, it's my decision to work with this and you have to um, take care and uh, be responsible with the, with the energy involved in this, uh, in this type of uh, equipment. Thank you for watching, until the next video.